Like I said a bit earlier, we were planning on spending the day out with Malaika. She does quite a lot of hunting during the day. But seeing as though we can't find her and we found them, we might head back to camp, come back this evening to find these guys when it's more likely that they'll be active and then possibly even spend the night out following them so that we're with them at first light when they like to do some hunting. Time will tell. Sure, they blend in so well. And just as well we got you when we did, just as well we had that cake when we had it because timing was everything for finding these guys. We got very, very lucky. And I'm glad our luck has turned yesterday was not the most lucky day we've experienced. Poor old Craig on camera is desperate to get some good footage of cheetahs hunting. All the other cameramen have been lucky enough to get a decent cheetah hunt under the belt, but Craig is now waiting his turn patiently. And having been so close yesterday to such awesome action with these guys that we missed, then when we went home for breakfast, we missed Malaika hunting on three different occasions. So this is the beginning of our luck turning, thankfully. But yes, like uh, Rebecca says, at least we are eating well. <laughs> well, so are the cheetah, to be honest, Bex. It's just we're not capturing them, capturing their food. So everyone's eating well here. I've just had a packet of potato crisps. It said they were perfectly salted on the packets. I would beg to differ. There could have been a little bit more salt. Hello, Shirley. What if they, what's freaked them out a little bit here? What's this one she's just seen that's creeping up to them from the left? Just, it's behind the bush now, but it's coming towards them. Now, is this an intercoalition? What's going on? What has the cheetah seen back there? Let me use my binoculars. Sadly, Craig's not going to be able to pan back there. Ah, clever cheetah. So you can guess quickly what the cheetah are looking at while I turn the vehicle around to show you. Hopefully we're not going to reverse into somebody. We've got our back flap down. So at our three o'clock, there's a lump of something in the middle of the plains there. Aha, uh -huh. a rayon. So that is what they're a little bit nervous of. And thank you, Cheetah, for helping us find another big cat. How cool is this? That's a male lion just relaxing out in the middle of this open, open plain. I'm guessing at some point today he's going to probably move and look for some shade. He might end up heading towards the same shade where these cheetahs are sleeping. Now, even though they were very, very cautious and kind of creeping around, as you saw briefly while they were looking in his direction, they've got absolutely nothing to worry about. From this distance, the fact that they know he's there, he has got absolutely zero chance of causing any harm to them. So that's important that all of you know. We have seen these, this coalition be chased by lioness on two occasions, and even the lioness didn't even come close. The cheetah kind of just like run off looking over their shoulder, comp completely kind of not concerned by the fact that there's a lion chasing them because they know that they are so quick. Hello, Hasman, you would like to know how old are the cheetah brothers? Hard to be certain. They're probably of varying ages and from varying litters not from the same mother. Now I'm told the researchers did say that they were expecting some DNA results to come out which will help us establish which of these cheetahs are brothers. It won't help us work out how old they are. And to be honest, I don't think anyone knows how old they are. They could be anywhere between, I would guess, three and five years old as, an, as, a, as a guess. But they came into this area as a coalition of five and nobody really knows where any of them came from, be it as individuals or their history or as a group. But ordinarily males will start kind of 
becoming sexually mature and joining these coalitions from about two years of age. And I'd guess these are all a little bit older than that. They're just, they're not fresh out of high school, you could say. They're a little bit more experienced, I would guess. But there is a lot of unknown regarding these boys. It's interesting to see how cautious they are. I'm actually surprised at how cautious they are, considering how far away he is. Well, the adventure is going to continue for you guys as these cheetahs kind of come to a bit of a halt. And we're going to be sending you back to Steph on foot looking for new adventures.